Hello, my name is Birendra Yadav. I am working as a chemistry faculty and I train students for IITJ exam. About my qualifications, I am a B.Tech graduate from IIT Roorkee. Today, I am going to discuss most characteristic reaction of LDHs and ketones. In the presence of a nucleophile, pi electrons of CO bond shift toward oxygen and by this way carbon becomes electron deficient and that's why nucleophile attacks this carbon. And this nucleophile gets attached with carbon. You can see this is simple addition and since the attacking reagent is a nucleophile, that's the overall reaction becomes a nucleophilic addition reaction. One thing I wanted to tell you that you can see this bond is a polar bond. CO bond is a polar bond, but the polarity of this bond is not the real cause of reactivity. It is the tendency of oxygen to acquire pi electron, which is a real cause. Now I am going to discuss factors on which reactivity of LDHs and ketones depend. Two important factors. One is steric factor. Second, polar factor, which is also known as electronic factor. So one by one we will discuss both the factors. First we will discuss steric factor. Consider an aldehyde RCHO. So when a nucleophile attack, we get product in this manner. Now if we take a ketone, in a similar manner reaction takes place. The product we get in both the cases nucleophilic addition reaction. Now, if you compare reactant and product in both the cases, the hybridization of carbon in the reactant side sp2 sp2. So, reactants are triangular planar while product carbon is sp3 hybridized carbon is sp3 hybridized so tetrahedral product if we compare bond angle this bond angle since this is triangular planar the bond angle will be approximately 120 degree bond angle approximately 120 degree and products are tetrahedral product so bond angle will be approximately 109 degree 28 minute 109 degree 28 minute. So you can say as the reaction proceeds, the groups attached with this carbon are coming closer to each other. In both the cases, groups attached with this carbon are coming closer to each other and this makes products less stable. But this takes place in both the cases. Now if you compare aldehydes and ketones, in case of ketones, both the task group are bulky, both are alkyl. While in case of aldehyde, one is hydrogen, which is less bulky. So you can say that in ketone, bulky groups are coming closer to each other. So more crowding in this case. And that's why here the product is less stable as compared to aldehyde. That's why on the basis of steric factor we can say aldehydes are more reactive than ketones. Now we'll discuss second factor which is polar factor.
this is a ketone and this is in general an aldehyde pi electrons are strongly pulled by this oxygen that's why carbon gets positive charge carbon gets positive charge now you can see in case of ketone two electron releasing groups are attached and that's why the positive charge of this carbon is decreased in case of aldehyde one is electron releasing group and another is hydrogen which is neither electron withdrawing nor electron releasing group so if you compare aldehydes and ketones the decrease in the positive charge is more in case of ketone and by this way we can say aldehydes are more reactive than ketones but in case of r group if we attach any electron withdrawing group for example ccl3 electron withdrawing group or cf3 these are electron withdrawing groups if we attach uh, these electron withdrawing groups here then uh, positive charge of the carbon increases by this way we can increase the reactivity of ketones now on the basis of above factors we can write reactivity order for different aldehydes and ketones So this is the reactivity order for different aldehydes and ketones.